Come on in. Luminox watches. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Would you believe it? It's been three years since I first did this, this video on these guys. Uh, three years and over a thousand subscribers later. So this was one of our first few videos. Unfortunately, the only way to give you guys a good, honest, hard review on these is to exclusively wear these two watches for three years, which by golly, that's what we've done. I've used these things on everything, everything from oil changes on vehicles to shooting to snowshoeing and way below zero temperatures to swimming to showering. So uh, just to kind of cap it all off and put a cherry on it, uh, we're throwing these things in the lake. We're going to do that today where uh, I'm going to have this where I wore it in a swimming pool. This one's going to get thrown in a lake. We're going to take a look at the looms uh, and really break down what we think about these Luminox watches. So that sounds good to you guys stay tuned see what we come up with and i promise you you'll get my honest to goodness review on these and i'll not only tell you what i think i'll show you what i think all right stay tuned all right so just kind of taking a quick look at these tritium vials on the luminox watches so been like three years now they're still going great we'll hit these uh with blue light here in a minute but we're just kind of a low light type of situation got them just kind of in the bedroom drew the shades so you can see a little bit there with the looms and uh, we'll hit this with a blue light here in a second and that'll really make it pop uh, so we'll go ahead and hit that with a blue light actually now and uh kind of really shows you those tritium vials now i've been using these these watches for uh, three years like these are the only watches that I use and uh, that's really not even doing justice to how bright those are in person uh, but uh, the looms the blue always is a little bit fainter than the green but they do work great and as you can see these little vials up here uh, on the bezel they work great and that's for your indexing of your uh, counter as your hands go around so that's your that's your tritium vials. Now these things have been honestly, they've been jarred, they've been uh, dropped, they've been out in minus degree temperatures, snowshoeing, uh, and they've just held up. I, I haven't had a single one fall out. They're still nice and bright, and uh, really they're just they're they're doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. And uh, wow, do they work amazing! So, all right, just wanted to go over that with you guys real quick and show you those and, uh, been on here for about 20 minutes or so and had it under the water there about three and a half feet of water as you can see she's still ticking just fine no problems at all still working great still loving this watch so yeah this is the luminox navy seal 3000 series watch you just throw it down in there she's not going to be any problems at all works great still loving this watch so we're going to try to film this as it goes down we're going to see if this thing holds up we're going to leave it there for about an hour and uh we'll time lapse it off this camera so let's get this thing started and uh let's put the luminox to the test the best i can a little nervous about sending a 400 dollars watch down there um but hey if it doesn't work it doesn't work right let's do it Okay, so what you're going to see now is the time-lapse footage from the submerged camera with the Luminox watches. It sat there in the lake for about an hour. Uh, you can watch the timer on the hands as I fast-forwarded so you can actually track how long it's been down there. Just wanted you guys to see that there's no foul play, and I did my level best to give the most honest test that I could here. So if you aren't interested in watching all that, then go ahead and fast-forward through to what comes next. All right, guys.
about an hour, better part of an hour, pulling out a little bit early, about five minutes or so early. But uh, so it's been every bit of 55 minutes. So let's hope that this pulls up okay and everything works all right. Because I'm going for a swim if it doesn't. It's out there quite a ways. Get down in here, pull the camera in. You can see the red down in there. She's out there. She's out there a ways. Actually, more than I thought. I don't know exactly how deep it was or what's down there, but I know there's in spots like 40 feet of water here. So, so we're pulling her up. She'll come up. Watch is still in there, so that's good. She's still ticking. I don't know if the water died. Whew, I think she might have been in some muck. Let's see here. Looks like my camera's still recording, so we'll cut her out and uh, see. But before I do that, just give the cameraman a good chance to get in there. So, you know, I'm not doctoring any footage or anything like that but she is still ticking and uh, we'll pull everything out of here and see you back on the uh, see you back on the tabletop also really happy with this action cam this is actually not a uh, GoPro for those of us budget budget conscious people it's like a, a Casio or something like that a Casio maybe we'll do a video on that sometime anyway so from uh, Lake Nequasset up here in Maine Luminox test complete and uh, talk to you guys in a minute. Okay, welcome back to the table. So the testing is done. As you saw, no problems in the swimming pool. As you saw, no problems throwing this puppy in the lake. That made me a little nervous, by the way. I really thought I was gonna have to jump in after it. So thank goodness that didn't happen. Uh, and the looms, they're still holding up great. I haven't even actually had to do a battery change on these guys yet. Uh, but both of the bezels are still working great as you kind of so on the other video there, uh, eh, even a little stiff on that one. There we go. Uh, I'm sure I'm gonna have to change the batteries eventually, but you know, here's the back. These watches are exclusively the only watches that I've worn for the past three years. And I have banged them, bumped them. Uh, the whole reason why I'm doing this follow-up, I mean, I was always kind of intending on doing a follow-up video on both of these. These are the Navy SEAL uh, series, uh, 3000 series watches. Uh, and the reason why, uh, main reason why, I just wanted to let people know what I think of these watches, uh, because they're, they're, you know, not cheap. I mean, these, these things are, you know, around $500 watch, $400 watch. And, uh, you know, depending on where you buy them, sometimes they're a little cheaper, sometimes a little more. Uh, but I've heard everything in the comments section over the last three years on these. People either love them or people hate them. Uh, I really wanted to put them through the through the ringer. I wanted to wear them for three years with everything I normally do at work, uh, in the woods, and uh, just kind of put them through the test and show you guys that. And the reality is, they've held up. They've held up. Uh, they're, the looms, as you saw, are still working great. I mean, nothing's fallen off. No hands have fallen off. The looms haven't fallen out. Uh, you know, the tritium still looks great. It's nice and vibrant. So I would have to say, honestly, uh, I've even whacked these things a couple of times where I was like, oh boy, that's going to be it. Like on a steel door frame where I work and I thought, oh, that's got to be it. I've climbed Mount Katahdin with these a couple of times and these suckers have ground on rocks. Uh, you know, I, they've just held up to everything I've done and this mineral crystal works great. Uh, the carbon fiber bodies hold up amazing. Uh, the one thing I had to do, this watch band is held up great. I did have to replace this watch band once because it is kind of a, a very soft, malleable rubber, but only once in the last three years. So that like way exceeds what I was expecting for a uh, soft rubber watch band like this. Now this guy is a lot lighter on the wrist than this guy is. Uh, it's a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more low profile because they did change the design a tiny bit. But uh, overall, uh, I would have to say I've got to come down on the side of Luminox. I'm going to continue wearing these, and I think I'm a dedicated customer at this point. Uh, like I said, I was always a Casio guy before, but first thing I do when I roll out of bed, depending on what I'm doing, I choose a Luminox. If I'm doing something that's uh, going to be really rough, like running a chainsaw or you know lugging wood, doing a lot of uh, 
uh, snowshoeing. I'm probably going to go for this guy here just because it's a little bit more robust. It's easier to see for me because the numbers are bigger and where they're yellow. If I'm just kind of out on the town or this is actually usually the one I wear at work, uh, I'm probably going to go for this one. But uh, man, this is, these are the only two I've worn and I wear them both, you know, one, one or the other every single day for three years. Love them. So uh, feel free to post in the comments if you disagree. Uh, if you agree, I mean, I'd love to hear from everybody. So I uh, appreciate the subscribers. We're up over a thousand at this point and uh, actually almost uh, one and a half thousand. So uh, appreciate all you guys. And uh, that's my final word on the Luminox watches. As I say, I'm definitely open to hear what everybody has. And I'm sure there's plenty on both sides of that fence. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, have a good one. And uh, bye now. Thank you.